Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyward Sword. I'm Gaiman Roy and last time we left off we got to the main area of Lunaru Desert. And as you go here I recommend you have your bug net out. I know it sounds weird but just trust me, it'll be useful later. And oh, and this is how it's going to be useful. Once you see some tumbleweed, go and get it. You might want to hurry. Yes, I got it. Okay. Tumbleweed. That's how you get tumbleweed sometimes. They're in chests and stuff too. And yeah, that's about it. Um, sorry if you hear some noises for a second there. Alright, sorry about that if you did hear something like that. Alright. Um, these things, I, you sort of saw them in the last part at the very end. They're pretty annoying. Oh, and that thing's about to hit me. This is an ampul Ampulus. I f didn't even know that was their names. It's such kind of lagging because he's so close to me. <laughs> it's funny. Hmm. And he hit me. Okay, there's many ways to kill these guys, and uh, one of the main ways to kill these guys is if you don't have, if you have, eh, if you have an iron shield or no shield at all. You can just let them hit a wall, and then, well, that's basically it for them. And then you just, then they get dizzy, and you can hit them. Or you could make a bomb, throw a bomb at them, and they'll kill them. But that's kind of hard to do. Um, or if you have the wooden shield, I guess you could just shield attack it, and then I'll get stunned or something like that. I think. I, I'm not sure if I remember that correctly, but I think something like that happens. And we got an amber relic there, always nice. And break these bushes. Probably have some money in them, and they do kind of late for saying that but whatever okay and there's another one of these guys this area is really big and it takes a long time to get to the actual temple too so yeah don't expect us to get to the temple as quick as we did say in like Faron Woods or even like Elden so yeah there's a lot of stuff to do here and plus it just takes I don't know this takes a while to get to the places you need to get to and up here we have a chest as long as a little puzzle that we have to do which we'll do after we get this item, and it is another tumbleweed. Sweet. Need, I think I only need one more for that uh, next iron shield upgrade. Yeah, she's just telling us about the bug net. So, yeah. Don't know why she felt the need to tell you that, but she did. Alright, so you just want to jump over this cage right here. And take out your bombs. And you want to scoot a little bit to the edge. And I think that should do because they'll roll a little bit, so it should be fine. Yes! I'm about to see one of. Probably the, one of the harder enemies of the game. After. Actually, eh, I'm not gonna risk it though. Well, I don't know, let's try it. I'm gonna try a few things to get this without wasting another bomb. I'm gonna try Skyward Strike first. And yes, that works. Cool. Don't have to wait. So yeah, if you, you don't have to use another bomb there if you don't need to. These things, well, you're about to see their names, but they're basically the same as Baka Goblins, except their swords are made of electricity. This is a Techno Goblin. These things are a lot harder. Remember how I kept on hitting the sword of regular Baka Goblins? Well, just imagine that, except uh, with electricity. So every now and then we'll be hit by electricity. So that's always fun. Not really, by the way. I really don't like these things. Stop that. I'm going to do a scout strike on you. There. Take that, you jerk. I guess that is a good tactic for Baka Goblins. Just wait for them to attack and then back up and use the Sky Strike. Should do that more often, maybe. And go ahead and talk to this guy. Because it's very important to talk to him. Thank you, sir. I don't know why that faded out for a second, but whatever. If you hadn't come along, they would have sucked my electricity out. Uh, of me, Verm. Oh. Look at that, Zerp. You have a beetle. It seems to be an older model of the Lanayru fabrication. As thanks for saving me, I will upgrade that for you. So whoop. Give it here for a second. 
It seems like the pe the, uh, the civilians of the Nehru and oh, well, I guess I should explain this. You got the hook beetle. This big these big pincers enable you to pick up and carry things with it. And I forgot to start timer. All right. Uh, you can also pr uh, press Z while carrying an object to look down while you drop your cargo bombs away. I've added a pincer modification so you can grab things. Just be careful out there. All right, so we do have we now have a better beetle. This is actually a really cool upgrade. I'll go and demonstrate it over here. So basically, you just let it fly like you usually would, and you can pilot it, and then go over to a bomb, and you can just drop it. Pretty cool upgrade. And you can actually upgrade this thing in the gear shop thing. So. And actually becomes a lot more useful when you do upgrade it. So I'm gonna have to. It's probably one of the best upgrades. In, I don't know. It's probably not maybe one of the best, but it's probably one of my favorite upgrades of the uh, upgrade shop. I guess you could say. But yeah, uh, there's some more stuff over here. This isn't the direction we're gonna go, but um, I think it is kind of useful to get some items. So drop that. Oh, or not. Uh, let's try that again. I do like the noise that the hook beetle makes. It sounds cool. I don't know, maybe it's I like it just because I'm used to it. I don't know. But it's a very cool sound. Effect. I do want to try to get enough rupees uh, for that life metal as soon as we get back. Which you should have enough by then. It's because of how long it takes for this area. And you should get a good amount of rupees from this, you know... Getting rid of these tombs, finding those random 20 rupee treasure chests, and stuff like that. And there's some more sand around here, no big deal. And, hang on. Did I see something else back there? Okay. I thought I saw like a hole or something. But it was just my imagination. Okay, some more rupees there. 10 rupees, not that bad. They could have just had one tomb with a yellow rupee in it, except there's no yellow rupees in this game, which is sad. It makes me sad, because that was my favorite rupee color. I don't, I, I don't know. I, I think I mentioned that before. I don't know why they took that away, but they did. They may have had it in a... Uh, I guess... I don't know what the game before this was. Like, Spirit Tracks, I guess. I don't know if they had in the Spirit Tracks, so... I still have yet to... Oh, okay. I thought I could maybe go through that. Um, I still have yet to beat Spirit Tracks. I, I don't know. I'm okay, that guy's a jerk. Let's just go and kill him. Yeah, if you get hit while you're using the beetle, then you just lose. You basically have to go back to a, where you started, and we can't hit that guy. Oh, that was a good dodge there. And one more hit should do it. It's going to become scared for whatever reason. Alright, let's get this last team that we seem to miss. And he dropped a heart. We kind of need that, but it will. Probably going to miss it. There's a goddess cube up there. We won't be able to get that for a while, though, I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe we won't miss it. Good. And there's an ember relic back here, back here, and I missed some rupees. I'm not gonna go for that one rupee though, but whatever. And I'm using my stamina a lot. This place is ba eels, basically a stam stamina trainer. So be prepared for that. These things up here, I don't know what they're called, but they are annoying. You don't want to get near them. Trust me. <laughs> Just grab a bomb and throw it on them. Basically what they'll do, if you get near them, they'll fly over you and drop a rock on you. Just like how you would, you know, fly over to them and drop a bomb on them. So, they're pretty annoying. Um, I think, yeah. It'll try to fly away from you, but you should be able to get away from it. But, it is worth it to kill one, because they give you a lot of money. Alright, so let's go through this area. And this is what I mean by, now... I said earlier that you can kill these guys with bombs, except it's hard to. So this is how it's now easier. You just go up there and drop a bomb on them. And you can use these guys as platforms, which is much later, especially later in this thing. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make this, but we'll try. Come on, make it, make it. Oh, no. He's going to have to be a little bit further away. All right, let's try that again. He will eventually uh, respawn, I think, hopefully. Yeah, so let's just wait for that to happen. Because he'll die and then another one will appear. And oh, get away from it! Okay, good. Yeah, don't be near it, Soda, so you can actually uh, 
drop a bomb on it. And drop. Even if it's near him, it should still get him, so don't worry about if it's you think it's too far away. And oh, well, actually, yeah, we'll be able to make that. Okay, there we go. That guy is probably going to annoy us. Let's go over and run over here. Get the stamina berry. This guy's discarding this little island over here. It's not too worth it to go over there, but I might as well kill him. Let's get him out of the way. So, yeah. It seems like the... I always get vertical and horizontal confused, so correct me if I'm wrong, but... It always seems easier to do the vertical size as uh, more than as the other one. And here we have some Laneru ants, so it's worth it to get these guys. It said that these ants store water deep in their nests, allowing them to thrive even in instant of, even in the instant heat of the open desert. And that is our first ant. L I mean, first Laneru ant. I'm pretty sure that's the only ant in the game. But yeah, they will actually like try to go over here, and uh, basically you can't get them. So. Don't even try if they go in the, excuse me, um, the uh, sand, because it's not worth it. And he saw me. Crap. Actually, I'll still work. Just don't get too close to it, that's all. I think, it's, I think oh, they're a little bit, I think they do notice the hook be just that they don't do anything about it, which is actually kind of weird when I think about it. So, I don't know. They're just like, eh, let's almost let this guy drop a bomb on me. Even though it's blatantly obvious. Okay, we should be able to make that. Probably just barely, though. Yes! Yeah. Told you just barely. Hopefully it won't explode by the time it, we're done with it. Alright, let's go over here. That's because there's a goddess cube over here. And that's worth to get. Oh, and I got hit, hit by the cactus. And also, you can do this to cactuses. And if you put a bomb next to it, it does this. Boom! Oh, wait, oh, never mind. Yeah, it usually just gets the top of it. But sometimes, I think if you drop... I think if you let them run over it, like, the whole cactus just dis disappears. It's pretty funny. Anyway, scout strike check this. Diagonal slice. I didn't even mean to do that. And there's a rupee there, and... See what else we got. Ooh, blue rupee. That's better. Not so yeah, you can get a goddess cube over here and rupee. It's not a bad deal. And I'm not sure that goddess cube even may give may give us more rupees up in the sky. So let's go ahead and kill this guy. Oh no 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 no. Ah crap. And I don't want to have. I want to use my hook wheel. That may work. I don't know. Let's try it. Uh, we could probably just throw a bomb at it right now, but it's probably easier just to do this, so... Yeah. Okay, so that kills him. And we go over there, and... Okay. I'm hoping we can make this, but I'm going to actually kind of walk for a little bit, then run. Which is actually a good strategy to use for this if you don't think you're going to make it. Much like I... Ah, oh, come on! I should have made that. Whatever. But yeah, it's a good it's a good it's a good strategy to do that sometimes just to walk and then run, because then you can actually get a little bit more distance, I guess you could say. And I actually don't recommend using your own bombs on these guys, just because it's kind of unre unreliable, just because they may move around and your bomb won't hit them at all. So I recommend just using the the uh, hook hook beetle to get them, even though it might be a little bit of pain to get them sometimes. But yeah, and there we go. Nope, get up there. Alright. And run. We should be able to make it this time. There we go. Alright, almost there. And here we are. That's not the last of Sandy Rays, as you can see right up here. But yeah, let's go and save. Oh, not save, but just examine that for later use. And we have full hearts. That's a good thing. And you do want to go over here to this little edge kind of over where you just were. Just because... Whoa, yeah, that was close. I almost fell down. I have to go through all that stuff again. I think. I don't know. I could have sank... Uh, got sunk by the quicksand, though, maybe. And just go back to the ledge as that. I don't know, maybe. Anyway, see, there's a minecart over here. It has nothing... You can't, like, make the past happen over here, but... Uh, you can just push it down and 
That will give me a shortcut for so you don't have to go through that little area again. Giving you lots of shortcuts as usual. This game they do the, they give you a lot of shortcuts in Elden, and they're gonna give you a good amount of shortcuts in a Lineru. Let's go ahead and run back over here. There's a bird outside. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but probably not because I've actually figured out <clears throat> as I was editing that one video where I said my phone went off. I honestly couldn't hear my phone, so. I'm just gonna assume that you guys didn't hear that either, so if you got if you didn't hear my phone, you probably didn't hear that bird, so that bird I have voice crack there. So you should shouldn't be able to hear that bird. If you do, then congrats, you can hear a bird. Alright, I'm probably gonna get over to the other side and then call it a video. Now there's something different about this area than the other one that we were just in. This time, the sand's moving! Oh no! <laughs> so yeah, that's, it's a little bit more of an obstacle, I guess you could say. And, uh, I don't think there's anything worth going over there for. And honestly, you can probably kill this guy from standing over here. So... I mean, it'll probably take a while to do scout strikes, but... I don't know, I'm gonna go and check over there, so... Sorry if this <laughs> it's probably gonna take a while, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna try something. And of course the last hit kills him. Whatever. Uh pfft, what should I do about that? And oh, maybe we can go actually what am I thinking? I just have to kill that guy, then I can run over here. I am so stupid. Anyways, there's a dragonfly over here. Let's see if we can get him. And uh, I don't feel like it, so. Yeah, there's a dragonfly over there if you want to get one. So be your, be my guest if you want to go get it. And let's see, what do we want to do here? Um, I think we want to... Ah, yes, 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 yes. I know what to do. Um, here. I know I said that using these are kind of unreliable, but go ahead and do it. Come on, kill him! Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, let's try this. How are we doing time? Okay, about 17 minutes in, I think. And, oh, he's not even interested anymore. That's weird. Oh, that might get him! Dang it! Ah, oh, why'd I have to make myself... Okay, forget it. I'm just using my hook beetle. I am wasting time. I don't even know why they're trying to attack you when they know over and over again that, you know, they're, they're gonna miss. I don't know, maybe they have, like, short-term memory loss, but still, it's stupid. Oh, get up there, Link. Come on. You're better than that. Alright, so, I don't know if there's anything over there. I could probably check my beetle with it if I want to. It's probably safe to go run over here over now. Run over here over now? Yeah. I can make words. He'll be like, whoa, whenever he sees a funeral. And there's a digging spot. I really don't want to go over there right now. And, hello there. I'm going to run right over here and ignore you. Get the stamina berry, and there's nothing over there, so. Not worth it. Probably maybe some bugs or something, but I don't really care right now. Alright, that should be good enough. Alright, we're almost there. And, end of the video. Oh, perfect timing too. We're about to go to this like cavey area. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. All right, well I'll see you guys next time. We'll be going to this, going back inside a cave. It would look like it's probably not gonna be that long because I don't remember a cave in this area being that long. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.